Hello and welcome to the Beehive Integration Guide for connecting your Beehive publication with WordPress. At the end of this video, you'll be able to both deploy a Beehive embedded form on a WordPress website in order to start collecting subscribers. You'll also be able to deploy the Beehive Attribution Helper Script on a WordPress website so that you can track attribution of new subscribers. Before we move forward, I wanted to give you a little background about this video. This tutorial uses a stock deployment of the WordPress theme 2022. There's lots and there's basically an infinite number of themes out there, so yours will almost certainly look different. Uh, we also use the plugin Insert Headers and Footers by WP Beginner in this video. Uh, you'll need this plugin or something similar. And if you're a developer, of course, you may already know this, but you can edit the source code uh, manually, but that's a much more advanced step that we're not going over in this video. We're using the built-in Gutenberg block interface. Your implementation may be slightly different depending on your customization if you're using a different uh, drag and drop builder or developing your WordPress site separately, but the basics should still apply. So let's jump into it. The first step is going to your Beehive publication, going to settings and selecting subscribe forms. Now I've already created a WordPress footer form here uh, for us to use, but you'll have to create a new embedded form or have one ready to go. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to use the slim embed, which is down here. And we're going to want to keep track of this attribution tracking script down here. So the first step is going to be to go to your WordPress website and go to uh, the place where we can edit the theme. So we'll, cre cre uh, we'll click on the themes editor. And this will pull up the basic site. For this tutorial, we're going to edit and we're going to add the uh, this sign up form to the footer. So I'm going to click on this footer block and click a the plus button. I'm going to find or search for custom HTML. And I'm going to drag that over to the footer. So now this will allow us to write custom HTML and will allow us to integrate our iframe into the site. So what we're going to do is go over to the slim embed code and click it and drop it right into this spot. So from here, we can click preview and we can see that it's pulling in correctly. Now you'll see it's slightly misaligned and this is due to the way that it's styled inside of this block. So there's some customization you can do to the CSS styling of this uh, iframe or you can use uh, custom classes. That's a little bit outside the scope of this video, um, but you know, ask your developer how to make this look uniform if it doesn't uh, exactly line up with other items. So from here, we're gonna hit save and the site's gonna be updated. So if we go back to our dashboard, we'll open up the test site and we'll see at the bottom, we now have this embed form, perfect. The next step, the final step is to implement the attribution tracking script. So what we're gonna do is go to settings. I've already installed the insert headers and footers uh, plugin, and we already grabbed the attribution script. But to do that, we're gonna go over here, go to attribution tracking, copy the script and pull it over, copy and paste into this scripts in footer section and hit save. So now the settings are saved, the website is updated. And now if we go to the test site, we'll go to, let's create a, a custom URL, uh, UTM source equals WordPress and UTM medium equals test. And we'll go there. Perfect. So now this session has us from this UTM source medium. And actually, just to be safe, let's close that window and we'll open a new one with the existing URL. Perfect. So we'll scroll down to the bottom and do EJ plus WordPress as a test email. Hit subscribe. So this is the custom text that we set up in the embedded form. And we've successfully created a way for subscribers to sign up through our WordPress website. So the next step would be to, to verify that this is working, although we know that it's working. You can go to Beehive, click on subscribers, 
and you'll see that not only do it, is my email here as a subscriber, but it's now capturing the attribution. So we have this embed part, which shows that it came through an embedded form. I set the UTM source to WordPress. So the source is WordPress and the medium uh, I set was UTM medium equals test. And that's showing up right here. So we have full attribution tracking through our WordPress site of the Beehive embedded form, and we're ready to start collecting subscribers there. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, and we look forward to growing with you. Have a great day.